Hey guys, today I'm going to walk through how to create and sell a digital ebook step-by-step. -step. I'll start by showing how to research a product niche, then how to design the ebook in Canva, and finally how to prepare it for selling and marketing. The first step in this process is researching a product niche, niche and Etsy is a really useful tool for this. When you go to Etsy, you can type in digital ebook or digital guide in the search bar to see what kinds of ebooks people are already selling. For this example, let's look at something like a travel ebook, such as a solo digital nomad guide. As you scroll, you'll notice the different covers, pricing, and reviews, which can help give you an idea of what is already working in this niche. Etsy is great for research because you can see what's in demand and what shoppers are actually buying. But while Etsy is helpful for validating ideas, there are benefits to selling a digital product directly from your own website. Selling from a website can mean fewer fees being taken out of each sale, and it also means less direct competition since your product isn't being displayed right next to competitors for customers to compare. Your own website gives you more control and the ability to market directly to your ideal audience without distractions. Once you've researched and have a general idea of the type of ebook you'd like to create, the next step is to actually design it and Canva is a very straightforward tool for this. To begin, open Canva and look for the search bar at the top of the page. Underneath the search bar, you'll see an option for templates. Click on templates and in the search bar type in ebook. This will bring up a variety of pre-existing ebook templates that Canva offers. Choosing a template can save a lot of time compared to starting completely from scratch. There are plenty of free options available, so you don't need to use a paid one if you don't want to. When you find a free multi-page template that looks like it could fit the style of your ebook, click to open it. The template will load with a series of pre-designed pages. At this point, you can start customizing it to make it your own. Every element in Canva is editable. If you click on the text, you can change the fonts, adjust the size, or rewrite the words to match your content. If you want to experiment with different fonts, Canva has a wide selection you can choose from on the left-hand side under the text toolbar. You can also adjust spacing and alignment to get the look you want. To add visuals, go to the Elements tab on the left-hand side of Canva. This is where you can search for photos, graphics, or illustrations to include in your design. Since the example ebook is about travel, you can type something like beach or travel into the search bar in the Elements section. This will bring up a collection of free and paid images. You can drag and drop the photos directly into the photo boxes that are already on the pages of the template. Canva will automatically place them into the frames. You can also drag them outside of the boxes if you want them as full images. Adding photos that match the theme of your ebook can make the design more engaging and visually appealing. Another way to take the design further is by choosing a color palette. To do this, open Google in a separate tab and search for something like pink, white, and black color palette, or whichever color combination fits the theme of your ebook. Once you find a color palette you like, download the image of it to your computer. Then go back into Canva, upload that image into your project, and place it on the design. Right-click on the uploaded color palette photo, and you'll see an option that says Apply Colors to Page. Clicking, this will change the color scheme of the page to match the palette you uploaded. You can repeat this process on other pages if you want to carry the same palette across the whole ebook. This is an easy way to create a consistent and cohesive design without having to manually adjust each color individually. It's also important to remember that Canva templates are meant to be starting points, not final products. Heavily customizing the design will make it feel unique and professional. You can change the layout of pages, swap out fonts, adjust spacing, and replace default elements with your own. Small changes like editing background shapes, resizing text boxes, or layering new elements over existing ones can give your ebook a completely different look compared to the original free template. Before we continue, I want to share something new that's been created specifically for digital product creators who are ready to take things to the next level. I created a space with the goal to give you systems, workflows, and private insights to help move your business forward. My Digital Empire Weekly is a program you can join built for digital product creators who are serious about elevating their business strategy. Each week, my members receive access to my new posts covering AI workflow strategies for digital products, market analysis breakdowns, and insights into hidden digital product niches and smart AI prompts you can use straight away to bulk generate your digital products. 
Members also receive access to private digital product workflows, which are in-depth guides, to walk you through systems like multi-day email funnel creation methods, AI prompts to bulk create digital products, and Pinterest marketing guides with pin style examples. You'll get access to my private AI marketing workflow, which demonstrates how to use AI to automate your content creation process and also build your own AI influencer to market your products. To start enjoying the monthly perks of becoming a member, the link to join my program will be in the description box. Taking the time to make these changes ensures that your ebook doesn't look like a template and instead feels polished and tailored to the topic you're covering. Now that the ebook design is in place, the next step is filling it with content. People can write their own text directly into Canva, or if they want to speed up the process, they can also automate the writing with a free tool like ChatGPT. For example, if the ebook is meant to be a solo travel guide, someone could open ChatGPT and type in a request like, write me a three chapter ebook that's a guide to solo traveling for beginners. ChatGPT will generate structured text that can then be copied section by section into Canva. By pasting the content bit by bit into the existing text boxes, the ebook fills out with complete written chapters while still staying within the design that was already customized earlier. After the content is added, the first page of the Canva design should be downloaded separately. To do this, click on the download button in the top right corner, select PNG format, and only check the first page of the project. This page will act as the ebook's cover image later when the product is listed online. Next, the entire ebook should be exported as the actual digital product file. This is done by clicking download again, but this time choosing PDF format. Make sure all of the pages are selected so the complete project is included. This PDF becomes the official digital download that customers will receive. Once the ebook file is ready, the next step is to list it for sale. There are several platforms where digital products can be listed, such as Standstore, Kit, which was previously ConvertKit, and Gumroad. Each of these platforms has different benefits, but for this walkthrough, Gumroad will be the example since it allows people to start for free. At the time this video is being recorded, Gumroad charges around a 10% fee on each sale but it provides an accessible way to get started without upfront costs. Setting up on Gumroad starts by going to gumroad.com and creating an account with an email and password. Once inside the dashboard, click on products and then new product. Choose the option for a digital product. You'll be prompted to add details like the product's name and price. To add the ebook file, click content and then click on the small upload files icon. This is where the full PDF of the ebook is uploaded, so it becomes the actual digital download customers will receive. To make the listing visually appealing, it's also important to upload the PNG file of the ebook cover page that was downloaded earlier from Canva. That cover image is what people will see when browsing the product page. At this stage, Gumroad also provides a section to add a product description. If help is needed with writing this, ChatGPT can be used again to draft a short product overview by simply asking it to write an ebook description for a beginner's solo travel guide. The generated text can be edited and pasted into the Gumroad description box. Once all of the details are filled in, click the publish button to make the product visible and ready for sales. In addition to the listing itself, it's a good idea to also review other parts of the Gumroad account, such as payout settings, payment information, and profile customization to make sure the account is ready to handle transactions. The last part of the process is marketing, since simply creating and listing a digital product is only one part of the journey. Marketing helps people discover it. A good starting point is organic content marketing because it doesn't require ad spend. Pinterest is one platform that works well for organic promotion of eBooks, especially if the product is visually designed. On Pinterest, different types of pins can be posted to draw attention to the eBook. For example, individual pages from the eBook can be uploaded as pins to give a preview of what the content looks like. Travel-related pins, such as destination photos or solo travel tips, can also be posted and linked back to the Gumroad product listing. Another option is to create story style pins where the ebook is introduced with a personal note on why it was created or what inspired it, since people often connect with real stories and experiences. By consistently posting a mix of these pin types, traffic can be directed back to the product listing without relying on paid ads. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more videos.